The waiver snuck into the governor's pandemic plan last week, and tonight both the county and state offices of education tell me districts are scrambling to understand it. But what we do know for sure is elementary school, private and public can now apply to receive waivers for in-person instruction. Schools can physically open for in-person education when the county that they're operating in has been off our monitoring list for 14 consecutive days. Governor Newsom firm on his order to keep all public schools closed when the academic year begins next month. But what he didn't talk about in his pandemic plan is the exception to the rule. A waiver provision appearing as a footnote buried in a five page framework for reopening schools, exempting qualifying elementary schools from distance learning even if the county is on the state watch list. Yeah, I think that caught all of us by surprise that one, it was a footnote and that it was left kind of to interpretation of how this would work. And interpreting and what, the exception what, is just what oh Edwards gosh. Azueta is busy doing. As the Senior Director of Policy for the Association of California School Administrators, it's his job to help district superintendents figure out just how to apply for the waiver. We're advising them to work with their individual county health office. County health officers can only grant a waiver after number one, considering local COVID-19 data, and number two, consulting with the California Department of Public Health. There is a lot of communities who, because they're getting some pressure from the parents too, they saw this, that, hey, there might be a pathway for us to open. I'm afraid that my kids are going to fall behind. Jennifer Moore is Even one of those parents. She pulled her three kids out of distance learning, opting for a homeschooling curriculum instead, but urges school officials to at the very least consider the waiver so parents can make plans again. We have to look at this at a, as a county by county, you know, district by district. Uh, situation. Officials with San Diego Unified tell me the district will stick to its plan to reopen school online next month and the county confirming tonight they have fielded zero applications for waivers.